Have you ever wondered how spending time in space would change your body? And if it did change you, would everything go back to normal once you returned home? That's what scientists at NASA had been wondering, and to find answers, they performed a space study on twin brothers. One of the twins was astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent a year in space on the International Space Station, while his identical brother, Mark Kelly, spent that time on Earth. Researchers then compared them to see the effects of spaceflight, and they found striking differences between the twins. Remember, the twins are identical, which means they share the same genetic material, so any differences between the twins would be due to their environments, not genetics. Here is what researchers found would happen to your body if you stay in space for a year. First, living in space changes your gut bacteria. Researchers monitored the complex community of microorganisms living inside both Mark and Scott throughout the study. They found that during his time in space, Scott's microbiome, that is, the bacteria in his gut, drastically changed. Some good news is that it doesn't seem like there's a need to go on a diet in space. That's because you're going to lose some of your overall body mass in space anyway. Researchers found that Scott's body mass decreased by 7% during flight due to increased exercise and controlled nutrition while on his mission. So I guess you are on a diet, but you really don't have any other choice. Another change was found in Scott's chromosomes. As it turns out, your telomeres will get longer in space. Telomeres are the protective caps on the ends of chromosomes, and as we age, these telomeres get shorter. But surprisingly, while aboard the ISS, Scott's telomeres became elongated, although it's hard to know at this stage what, if any, effects that may have. During Scott's time on the ISS, he experienced about 146 millisieverts of ionizing space radiation, which is equivalent to about 10 to 15 abdominal CT scans. Researchers believe some of the DNA damage they observed was due to radiation. Living in a microgravity environment also impacts the way thousands of individual genes are expressed. Some more good news is that vaccines seem to work just fine in space. Scott got his flu shot while on the ISS, and his immune system responded as much as Mark's did. Mark got his vaccine at the same time, only it happened on Earth. So your immune system will still be capable of doing its job after spending a year in space. Spending too much time in space can cause vision problems. Researchers found that the blood supply to the back of Scott's eyes swelled, and parts of his retina thickened, which can cause vision problems. In addition, Scott's carotid artery, the large vessel that supplies blood to the brain, became thicker during the flight. Meanwhile, Mark's artery wall did not grow any thicker. Researchers also found a slight drop in Scott's performance upon his return to Earth. Does that mean that staying in space for a year makes you sick and less smart? Definitely not. Most of the changes observed in Scott during his stay on the ISS went back to normal within six months of his return to Earth. But this is all based on just one year in space. If we are to become a spacefaring civilization, we'll be experiencing much more than this. For example, a return trip from Mars will take three years. How would that affect the human body? To find out, NASA already has plans to send more astronauts into space on longer missions.